20, 10, it's, there's no pressure in there. The line hardly ever moves. So it's, in, it's not a problem. It's not anything you have to worry about, right? It's always low. But look at the ventricle, okay? Here's the left ventricle. When the AV valves close, this is telling me right here what's, about, what's happening. The left ventricle right there. It's pushing. So it is starting to contract. And that start of the contraction closes those tricuspid, bicuspid valve, did the picture before. It rises like a madman because there's, there's nothing leaving. It's just pressing together full of liquid. It's like you're taking a water balloon and pressing on it. And then all of a sudden, it's going to have enough pressure to overcome the pressure in the aorta and blow open the aortic cylinder valve. And when it does that, it drops off quick. Because now the blood's going out into the aorta. It drops off, it drops off until it matches the pressure in the aorta again, and then the valve snaps shut. That's the noise it makes. It comes all the way back down until the pressure drops below the, in the atrium, and the atrium <coughs> valve drops back up. So there's only one gigantic pressure curve in the heart. You notice what it goes to? 20. What's your blood pressure? 120. So the red line, what, what those are? This is, the red line is the pressure in the ventricles. Pressure. If you stuck a needle in your left ventricle and measured the pressure in millimeters of mercury. This is what, what it's doing, what it's doing. This is in the left atrium. You stuck a needle in there and measured in millimeters of mercury. There's the pressure. So this is the big deal, right? This is pumping blood out of the left atrium into the body, that little loop right there. Nothing to it, right? Do you have to know these numbers? No. You have to know about those heart sounds, what causes them? Yes. I don't care. Now, oh my God, now it's starting to get, I don't like it. This puts in everything. Now we've got the EKG line up with where it's supposed to go, the heart sounds where they're supposed to go, and all this stroke volume, diastolic volume stuff that we haven't even talked about yet. What do you think that is, just thinking of what stroke volume? How much blood is being How much blood comes out of the heart of every day? Okay, what do you think? It's translate in. Resting volume. What do you think that is? How much is in the ventricle? How much is left in there after it beats? Because it's not. I wish my heart would just pump in every inch, with every millimeter would come out. You leave a lot of it, and that's how much is left in there at the end of the beat from systolic volume once it's finished pumping. This is what actually comes out. This doesn't count, right? Because it's not going anywhere. It's staying in the heart all the time. You dump the glass over. You keep a little in there. This is what goes around your body. So your stroke volume is something doctors want to know. And we'll calculate, we're going to learn to calculate it, it's easy. What can I tell you to learn about this? I don't know. <laughs> then what's my word about it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the heart sounds are, it's going to be on there. Uh, what causes AD valves to open and shut, it's going to be on there. What, what causes the aortic cylinder valve to close, tell me. The, the pressure is going to be in the aorta. The pressure gets less in the ventricle than it is in the aorta. Did I say that backwards or right? Sounding good. <laughs> what, what causes the aortic valves to close? The aortic cylinder valve to close, if it closes shut, that means the, the pressure must be greater on the outside coming down than it is what's pushing out. The other two valves are open. The, the other two are open. Yeah. Yeah. That's why those are closed? Yes. Yeah. Do one thing at a time. Yeah. What causes the AV valves to open? The aerotic valves to close. No, I don't say that. <laughs> Look right here. What's going, what causes the left AV valve to open? The pressure, the pressure in the ventricle is lower than the atrium. Look at the lines and just yeah. read it. That's what kind of questions are on there. No pictures. Now, if you had this, it'd be nice, right? Yeah. Yes, it would. <laughs> when I took a &P, uh I remember this, I hated it. God, it was a pain, and I was a jerk. He just was hard, he tried to tell everybody he was old, and he just made me mad. And he took, and I didn't care about anything, I didn't even like it. I was a forestry major. But this, uh, he made us draw this on the test and put everything in. We got one little spot off, he counted on around the other. So I was like, man, come on. I would have looked more see it. You would rather draw it? I'm not great in all that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look at that thing, oh, you're a little bit off right there. I'll just ask questions about it. Spend time in your book. You do that kind of thing. Ask yourself what causes these things on there.
Be sure you add the heart sounds. Don't worry about where these are. We're going to talk about these in a minute. And you already know what's happening here, right? Look where the P wave is. Look down and where it is. Oh, uh, P wave, the atria is doing something. That's what the P wave means, right? Atrial contraction, there it is. What does the QRS mean? Oh, line up right at the party picks up. What's the T wave? Where's it at? Right when it relaxes, amazing. You're in the spot where you're supposed to be. What's going on in the spot? You've got the same picture in your book. Here's another one from another book, same stuff, different book, same picture. You can't change it. You can't make this thing different no matter what you do. I can make it go faster by running, but that's it. I'm not going to ask you this on the test because I don't want anything bad. <laughs> 